In this video, we're going to take a look at the universal collective, that's global energy for the Leo New Moon lunar month influence. How we can best utilize the energy and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live. Let's get busy. All right. Thank you for tuning in and watching. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all to live, love, and manifest the life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. Emphasizing on manifest. Can you tell? All right. So go to my website, edwardregasta.community. Link readings. Current rates are there where you can see me in person, in Sugarloaf, whatever, whenever my next date will be that I'll be there. I'll have that posted there. And if you'd like to arrange and or like to arrange a telephone reading with me, you can leave me a message there. Do that through the website. And I'll get back to you. And for the videos, go to my website, everybody link Medium Tarot TV. All the current videos are there leading up to this one and theme healing songs as well. Whatever YouTube, YouTube allows me to share. All right. And if you would like to subscribe to my video subscription service, Medium Tarot TV Plus, be your soul, daily videos, insight, foresight, live your best life. And also check me out on Instagram, daily posts with daily with a blurb for the daily energy. All right, let's get to it. Now we're picking up where we left off. So we're continuing with the current week energy, though everything discussed here is an influence for the lunar month. In this case, August 8th through September 5th, 2021. So the week in question is when it's going to be the strongest is August 8th through the 14th. And this is the energy, boy, this sets us off on a wild ride, wild card, if you will, of expect the unexpected. So I have to ask us once again, what are we expecting? Are we expecting great things or are we expecting the draw to flop, the, the draw to, f the, the floor, have to slow down, the floor to drop out underneath us, right? Mm-hmm, been there, done that. This is the astrological influence of the moon in Zodiac Cancer. So all Cancer moons are activated, empowered, and or triggered. There is an offering. Are we aware, directly or indirectly, are we aware of the offering? Not if we're like this, not if we're closed. Mm -mm. We either may not recognize it or we'll poo poo it. We won't even acknowledge it. Like, oh, that couldn't possibly be. Well, guess what? Then it won't. It's the way life works. So, what are we focusing on? What we focus on is what we attract good, bad, the good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. This is the energy of discontent. Now, Zodiac, hey, listen, I was raised by a Zodiac Cancer. So Zodiac Cancer is sensitive, is instinctual, but they also can be moody. So all the signs have not such wonderful energy. It is what it is. So we all get moody, including myself, but we can't stay there. If we stay there, we lose out. Let's not lose out. So let's see the offering that the universe is, um, is giving us, directly or indirectly, okay? How we do that, we, stay, we, be in the, we be in the moment, basically. We leave everything at home with us and we stay in the moment. Meaning that, you know, sometimes we are preoccupied with our mind or our feelings, and we miss out. And manifesting has to do with being in the moment. It's a key ingredient. All right, enough said of that. So expect the unexpected. Expect great things. 
All right. That sets, sets us off. So let me backtrack a little bit and briefly discuss the astrological associations. For the zodiac year, that video is on my website, also on YouTube, zodiac year 2021 that began in April 2021, we have Taurus sun signs as our mascots. Okay. Activating pattern are triggered. And if you have the placement of Mars in Scorpio, lots of energy. Where do our passions lie? Mm -hmm. For the solar month of, should be Leo. Solar month of Leo, which started on July 22nd. We have Zodiac Cancer sun signs, activating power to no triggered. And if you have the placement of Mercury in Aquarius, activating power to no triggered. That video is on my website only. Okay, check that out. We already discussed the week energy. Now we're going to move forward into the day energy. Okay, here we go. Day energy. The moon's in Leo. Duh. The new moon is in Leo at 9.50 a.m. Eastern. 6.50 a.m. Pacific, adjust the time to where you are on the globe, and the color of the day is amber. As my phone goes ding. When in my mind's eye, as I film this week, new moon week, I saw red, so I wore this, and you probably can't tell... But I'm specifically wearing this t-shirt because I would normally wear this for 4th of July. It represents freedom to me. And if we believe that we are manifestors, we do have freedom. Okay, we're going to get to that. All right. So, day energy. The male epitome of the element of Earth. What does the element of Earth represent? Work, job, finances, career. Sense of security within, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence, name of the game, long-range goals, and our physical health. Any or all of that is up for grabs with our new moon intention for manifesting. Okay. So, all male... Earth sun signs, those specifically those who are 29 years old or older, are activated, empowered, and or triggered. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this is the energy that I really feel that this is a magnificent, can I put that better? Magnificent manifesting. Moon. MMM. New moon. So, with, let's just go into the new moon intention suggestions for manifesting. With the weak energy of expect the unexpected, so that was then, this is now, it's a renewal, meaning just because something didn't happen before, there was probably a reason, we might, we might just be ready for it now. So what do we want to manifest, basically? It should be our heart's desire. The weak energy is the element of water. Love, passion, creativity, spirituality. Doesn't have to be one of those four, but our emotions should be involved when we manifest, when we put out our new moon intention, because that's passion, which is the Mars and Scorpio for the year. You follow your passion, you have a better success rate. Always, but really this year as well. And also, there is, if you watch the Zodiac Year for 2021 video, everything old is new again because of the influence of the past. Nostalgia factor. This is ringing in the box, I'm telling you. Just going to have to believe me on that. 
So, but that also means that just because something, we can take something from the past and revitalize it, plus it, add on to it, revitalize it, reimagine it, and present it. So just because something didn't happen, in the, I guess what I'm saying, is just because something didn't happen in the past doesn't mean if it still feels true within us, go for it. So whatever you want to manifest, truly knock yourself out and go for it. Now, I want to see if there's any moon void of course. No, there isn't. So basically, we can place our new moon intention not Eastern, 9.50 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Pacific, 6.50 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. And adjust the time to where you are on the globe. All right. Just do it, as Nike says, okay? All right. Now, the Psychic Insight theme is the cherry on the cake. And... This is the Astrological Association, I should say, is Jupiter in Leo. has to be Leo because it's a Leo new moon. Jupiter, luck. We create our own luck. Expansion, growth, soul growth, so evolution, name of the game. Let's go back to creating our own luck. Do we feel lucky? Do we, do we not feel lucky? Feel lucky. Don't be small-minded. Okay. That's what I think they called the munchkins in, in the book of The Wizard of Oz. Don't be small-minded. So Jupiter is expansing, expansion. It's known as good luck and fortune. But again, I truly really believe we create our own good luck by doing the right things, having the right intention, and then being in the moment, so we're at the right place at the right time, but then we have to be in the moment to take, I don't want to say take advantage, but to utilize properly. This is the energy of happiness, of creativity. It's actually the minor arcana energy of the arts. So any creative endeavor gets a boost of energy. There we go. Boost of energy. Victory. Personal victory. Some lucky ducks will get personal victory. Of course, it's based on, it could be a labor of love, but it's based on the fruits of our labor. Hmm. Leo energy in itself is expressive and creative. As I always say about Leo sun signs, though specifically those who have Leo rising or ascendant signs, when they walk into a room, you notice them. Either they want you to notice them or you just notice them, but you notice them. They don't necessarily have to make an entrance, but they make an entrance. Okay. That's Leo, the royalty. All right. So, Are we, well, let me do, let me do the uh, psychic, ins, uh, the theme healing song before I go in conclusion. All right, theme healing song. We ended up with, the key words were manifest, and then in parentheses I put victory. But we, st we started and ended with manifest, because this is truly a magnificent manifesting new moon. We ended up with Once in a Lifetime by Talking Heads. I believe 1980. And if, you know, watch the song, hear the song, listen to the song, feel the song. Let, let the words, let the lyrics go through your mind and your heart. And it's basically saying, what have we created? Are we happy with what we created? Do we want to create something different or are we happy with what we created? by our mindset, by our feelings. It's deep. So, we ended up with that because 
I went into more explanation for subscribers to Medium Tarot TV Plus, though we ended up with that song because of the movie trailer for The Truman Show of 1998, starring Jim Carrey. All right. Very well. It's very poignant, very, very um, succinct. Now, in closing words, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we going? Are we heading in a direction that's bringing us happiness? I say us because not people around us, but us happiness. Are we on our path? Are we listening to our heart? And do we truly believe, I hope, do we truly believe that we are manifestors? Because if you don't, you're losing out. You're losing out. You don't have to manifest. If you don't want money, you don't have to manifest money. You can manifest love. Whatever, whatever. It's whatever your heart desires. So, this is significant. I hope we utilize it properly instead of saying take advantage of it. All right. So, thank you for joining us and watching. And we hope to see you real soon in another video, if not in person. Take care. And once in a lifetime, let's go. Let's get busy.